Welcome back to my channel. Today is an empties video. I know you guys love these. I love watching them. Great review because I went through the whole product and everything in here like I went fully through. I know last month I think I put a few products in where I was like I can't do this. can't go through it. Nope. All these are fresh and out. I did my makeup today. Like really did it. So if you've noticed anything different about my face it's that I tried. I'm going to my best friend from high school's wedding today so I figured Put a little more effort in. Anyways, first is by Lux. I've been through many of these before. This is the cookies. Just kidding. I thought this was the chocolate. No, this is cookies and cream. I've only been through. This is the first one I've been through. It's sold out right now, or I probably would have bought another one. Chocolate's my all-time favorite, so I'm definitely going to keep repurchasing that one. I have two brand new ones downstairs, and then one that I'm going through still. I will tell you, aside from me loving this, I bought, and they're like $60 each. They are expensive. I will, I'll tell you that ahead of time. It's like 100% whey protein. I'm like starting to sweat. But I bought the vegan mocha because I was like, this is going to be an awesome morning shake to do because it has like coffee in it, but it's like mocha. So I'm like, it's that's basically chocolate coffee. Like I can do that. <sighs> My... <sighs> I am like, anytime I think about it, I start, like, my stomach starts getting queasy. It was that bad. I'm not someone that really has much reaction. Like, if I don't like something, I just don't like it. Like, I'm not going to immediately throw up. No, I immediately started gagging, and the entire day, just, I kept thinking of the taste of it, and I started feeling like I was going to get sick. No, and this, my mom, like, I gave it to her because she's like, it's not bad. No, it tasted exactly like what cigarette ash smells like like if you can picture that gross like cigarette ash smell that's the taste that came in my mouth and i literally almost vomited so don't buy that do not buy the vegan mocha save your money that was the first thing i went through l'oreal extraordinary clay the conditioner and shampoo I went through these at separate times but they managed to stay in the same month my favorite Shampoo and conditioner, I love it. It's so inexpensive. Um, keeping in hair care, I have this Rock Your Hair Spray It Clean Dry Shampoo. And they went a little, I know, I feel like that's a little over the top, putting rhinestones on it. But it is a cute case, and it worked well. I like it. I don't know if I'll repurchase it, because I got that in my Generation Beauty in New York swag bag, so I don't know how much it is. I'm feeling it's like a little more on the higher end side. Whereas this Batiste one, which I also went through, this is the original, is like $6, and I love it. So this is something I know I'm going to repurchase. By Nature's Bounty, this is Sleep Gummies. I definitely have shown you these before. This is 3 milligrams of melatonin, so I'll take 2 a night, and it ends up being 6 milligrams total, which is a pretty good like dosage for me. And they tasted delicious. It was Tropical Punch. I haven't found a melatonin gummy that I haven't liked. By Skin to Mint Skin Therapy, this is the Ultra Sensitive Moisturizing Shave Cream is where I was getting at with this. And it, I don't really feel like my legs are that sensitive, but um, it worked well. Worked like every other shave cream I've ever used. Uh, by degree, I feel like I need to put some on right now. This is the Motion Sense Active Shield 3 Layer Odor Protection. I have repurchased this many times. I like it. I'm a sweater. Like, I sweat through that anyways. I haven't found, like, my perfect deodorant yet. By Well Kept, I get this at Sephora. I get this in pretty much... Like, if I'm trying to get free shipping, I'm just about to hit it. I'll always put this in my car. But it's just a clear and healthy skin... Clean screen, screen cleansing towelettes. Oh, that was a mouthful. Um, and you get 15 in here, and I am almost through my next pack too. So I use baby wipes also. That's a, probably a cheaper alternative. This is like $6 for 15, so it's kind of expensive. Um, but it does make me feel clean because I have OCD. Um, Mineral Peel Face by... Why can I never remember what this name? The, like, the thing is an O... The logo. I have two new ones that I'm going through right now. This is my favorite. It gets rid of dead skin so extremely well. Like I get dry and patches and I'll just spray that on before I cleanse my face and it pretty much completely gets rid of the issue. And if for some reason it didn't get rid of it, normally my makeup setting spray will take care of the rest. By course, this is the Body Butter Yogurt. 
and I really like this. It literally lasted forever. Like every time I was like, it's, this has to be the end. This is the last pump. I'd go through it for another month and I'd be like, what the heck is this? Like, how is it? Well, there's some like witchery is going on and it just keeps refilling. I don't know. It lasted me a very long time. I would repurchase it. It's a high end one, but a little goes a long way and it's so moisturizing and it smells good and luxurious. So I enjoyed it by Vagisil. <laughs> I love showing you guys this. Um, 24 hour odor protection. Does that really work? I don't think so. But this is um, for your lady parts and it's supposed to be like pH balance. So instead of using regular soap, you're supposed to use something formulated sp 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 specifically for your nether region. Next, another soap is by Bath & Butters. This is Crisp Morning Air Deep Cleansing Hand Soap. It smells so good. I love this. It was very full of time. I will repurchase this when it comes out again. Probably like summertime, the fall stuff will come out. Um, Sugar Plum, which I guess is now technically, maybe next month. This is by Francesca's. It is a candle. Um, one of my friends, actually my old roommate's old roommate, got me this as a Christmas gift and it was so sweet because like I took over her lease so when I came in it was the week after Christmas and she had a little present left out for me it was adorable but it smells really good this is a soy candle and it smells like plums and I think what I'm gonna do is clean this out because it is like mermaid fish scale print and I think it'd be really cute holding jewelry or like hair ties in it Okay, by Neutrogena, this is a Rapid Clear Stubborn Acne Spot, spot Gel. Always. I just can never talk. This is my acne treatment, my go-to at night. I put it on with, like, a Q-tip. I did, like, open this at the, like, scissored it off because it wouldn't squeeze anymore out, and I had a good, like, week left of it. But I am obsessed. It does tend to dry you out a little bit, so I only put it on, like, I don't put it all over my face, but I put it on the specific acne areas. And that seems to work really well for me. So if you are wanting to check out like a drugstore acne treatment, definitely do the Rapid Clear line. I love it. Um, I don't know why I'm showing you this. This is well, one, a cherry chapstick. There is no surprise there. But two, this is the Lasting Smiles Organic Lip Balm and Peppermint Cream. I don't know where I got this. It's, I, I just don't even know where it came from. I think probably like an Ipsy or Birchbeck some point in the years past. But I really liked it, so I might even, like, like it enough to go on and try to find it. Because it kind of, I know it's going to sound odd too, left like a white tint to my lips. So, not it obviously didn't make my lips white, but if you get the drift, it just it had like a white overcast. And I thought it actually looked really pretty, so, and it felt good. It felt like a chapstick. I just kept this in my makeup drawer, so when I'm doing makeup... And I'm always like, I need chapstick. I just grabbed it. Lastly, I have this Sephora Charcoal Nose Strip. I got this from, I did a Poshmark. <laughs> I bought something off Poshmark. And I like to give gifts, like, if it's over a certain amount of money. And some other people do that, too. And actually, this is probably the only girl that's ever done that. But um, she gave me this in it. And this guy is $3 for one nose strip. So I went into Sephora to buy one. It's going to be a special purchase, but the only reason I'm showing you this is because it worked so freaking well that it needed to be on here and you guys needed to know about it. So, like, if you get really bad blackheads or if you just, like, want to splurge every once in a while for, like, a beauty treatment day, you need this. It was the best blackhead remover I've ever used because I'm used to using the Biore ones. It hurt like a mother to take off. Like, I was... Not to be dramatic, but like tears were coming out of my eyes because it was so just intense ripping stuff out. <laughs> and that doesn't sound good. But it, like, once I had it off and I was like amazed at how much it actually took out. I should have taken a photo, but like, I know I like that stuff, but other people don't. I didn't want to gross you guys out. But what I'm getting at is that this stuff works and you need it. So that was all of my empties. I gotta go to the wedding because it's like an hour away, so better start driving. And I'm gonna see you guys really soon in another video. Bye.